Today I want to talk about finding a niche for your YouTube channel when you just have so many ideas you don't know what to do. And some of you may not have any ideas or maybe you don't think they're good enough. In this video I'm going to give you lots and lots of ideas, but I want you to choose with this piece of advice. Pick something that you're passionate about, something that you enjoy talking about, even if you think it's boring. I believe you should still go ahead and start it because a lot of channels you start with something that you think everybody will like to hear about and you think you enjoy talking about it and then before you know it you changed your mind or maybe you find that your audience wants something that's kind of off on a different tangent and it your your channel just kind of morphs into something else so just start I I, I can't exp I can't emphasize that enough just start now after I give you some ideas I'm also going to give you part of my course that I have. It's a very small course, how to start your YouTube channel. It takes you through all the steps. That's why it's not like $4,000. It's uh, very economical, but I want you to go ahead and look at this one part of it about finding your niche. You can also have that as well. Um, and you're probably thinking, where the hell are you right now where you're filming? I am actually in my goat pen at my house. We have a, a section fenced off and my dogs are running free. We have two Anatolians and we put an electric fence up and they ran right through it. Um, probably training wasn't real good or who knows. Um, we're gonna start from scratch, but this is the only way I can let them run. Uh, if they get out of here, they'll run to the campground that's right down the road. And once they wanna go down and play with the kids, some, some lady down there gave them beef jerky and they keep going back. So anyway, I'm out here babysitting cause they can fly right over the four foot fence. <laughs> so I have to keep stopping them. So um, with that, if you have a channel, you make it work, make it fit into your lifestyle because you need to do you when you do YouTube, get it? YouTube is about you. So don't worry about all these people out there that look perfect and beautiful and always have their makeup on and you know, just be you. If, if this, is how, this is how I live, this is what we get, right? Um, all right, enjoy the list. It's very, very comprehensive. I hope you find something in there. Please, please, please put something in the comments below and let me know what enticed you. Let me know about your channel. Share with the group. Let us know what you're doing, where you're at, and anything that you can say down there that'll help other people that are in that spot where they're just not sure what to do. You are here because you want to earn a living doing something you enjoy. You grew up with teachers and other adults asking you, what do you want to be when you grow up? and you decided. Some of you ended up in college, some of you didn't. And maybe now you're working 40 hours a week, maybe in an office, maybe you have a decent income, yet you're not happy. Why is that? I believe that it is possible to earn money doing something you are passionate about. And that's what we're gonna talk about here. Do you have a passion that is profitable? In this mini course, I'm going to help you figure out if what you're passionate about could possibly earn an income for you. The first step I want you to take is to print page one in the workbook and list everything you can think of that you enjoy doing. Yes, everything. I want you to think outside the box. Just do a brain dump, throw everything down. What are things that I could spend a lot of time talking about? I want you to fill this out without talking to anyone else or doing any searching or anything like that. I don't care if it's crocheting, gaming, cooking, racing, painting, working on ed engines, investing, everything. Write it down. I want you to be raw, honest, no holding back, no worrying, no worrying about giving the right answer. And then once you do that, you are ready to jump in to step two. Take some time and actually make a list. Don't worry about asking yourself if it's profitable or not. That's what we're going to figure out going into step two. So have fun, write those down, and I'll see you on the next step.
All right, don't forget to leave something down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and you have a good one. Have a blessed day. And I hope you, I still got my dogs. Nobody jumped over the fence. So I might be out here more often. I can't leave them out here by themselves.